day three post-op, here I am. I'm alive, I'm okay. Surgery went ahead just as planned. I, um, I went in about 6 p.m. on Friday evening and I woke up late that evening, probably about midnight or something that night. I woke up in the, um, on the ward. I know they did wake me on recovery, but in the recovery ward, but I don't actually remember much of that other than somebody shaking me and me talking to them. And I think I said some weird stuff about my cat or something, <laughs> as you do. Um, so I'll give you a look at my, my operative scars. So I've got three little scars there above my belly button and one just there below my bra line. Um, I feel okay. I feel very weak, a bit tired. I um, have been very restless the last day or so because of gas pain under my ribs. Something that I wasn't prepared for and a lot of people didn't really seem to talk about was that um, you don't just get this gas pain in your back. Um, the gas pain for me has been all in my ribs. I've really not had any back pain at all. It's just been under my ribs, which um, when I first reported it, you know, I was so drowsy the first day. All I could say was, oh, I've got pain in my in my chest. And so everyone started panicking and put me on the trace and everything because I was worried about my heart. But um, it's definitely my ribs and um, the gas under my ribs. The doctors checked me out and he's um, confident that that's all it is and he said it's actually really common. So I'm surprised that I didn't really hear much about it before I went in. Um, my little roomie, she was after me for surgery and um, a couple of the other girls from the September group, they were also um, just before me on Friday. They went home yesterday, which was Sunday. Um, because they were all feeling really good, but I personally, um, I was concerned about my fluid intake. I think I only took in about 200 mils across the entire day yesterday, so I wanted to stay in, um, just to stay on the drip a bit longer. But um, today, it's only about 11, 11.30, and I've had about twice that, so I was happy to um, to go home. So um, yeah, I'm home, oh, I'm back at the hotel anyway, um, as you can see in the background here. Um, Finding showers really help. I'm still very restless because of that gas pain. Showers seem to really help with that. Um, hotter the better. Um, I've been on the OptiSlim chicken soup, which people say is gross, but it's really helped me a lot with getting my fluids in. I've been, I've been drinking it. Blue Powerade. They give me red in the hospital, which is pretty horrible. And when I think back, it's probably part of the reason why I wasn't able to get much fluid in because um, all they really offered me was this horrible chicken broth, some um, red Powerade and some apple juice, all of which didn't sit very well. So um, now I'm home and I've got the blue Powerade going. I've got, yeah, some um, Opti soup and um, obviously I've got some Opti Slim here, I'll, like sachets as well for the shakes which I'll try later, but I haven't yet. Um, and I also made a cup of tea, which I've had like two sips of, um, because I'm aware that it's more important that I get the electrolytes and the protein in at the moment. So the tea is just a bit of an indulgence, which I really miss my cups of tea. Um, other than that, there's not much else to report. I feel okay. Um, I definitely had that moment um, on Saturday and yesterday again, where I was like, what have I done? <laughs> Why didn't I just work harder at exercising? Why did I need to do this surgery? You can do everything you want to beat yourself up, but you know, there's a reason that I chose to do this and that, that hasn't changed between then and now. It's just that I'm feeling a bit sad and sorry for myself and sore. Um, so hopefully those feelings will come less and less. I don't feel like that at the moment. Right now I actually feel quite good aside from being pretty weak and tired. I don't really want to go anywhere but other than that um, I feel pretty good and I'm hoping that you know this is an indication today's better and tomorrow will be better again and the day after that will be better again. So keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I um, am feeling better and I hope you are too soon. Good luck with your surgery if you haven't had it yet. Congratulations if you have had it. And if you're thinking about doing this journey and you're concerned about what it's like post-op, it's bearable. It sucks, but it's bearable and it's all going to be worth it. Um, keep smiling 
and um, if there's anything you'd like to ask me please do ask in the comments below and I'll be happy to um, give you some answers of what I can other than that don't forget to like comment anything at all let me know what you want me to talk about as well um, and subscribe so you can find out how I am doing on my journey I hope to weigh myself when I get home on Thursday evenings so today's Monday three four more days I will get home and I hope to weigh myself then and I'll let you know how I'm doing um, oh when I went in um, for admission they weighed me and I was 117.4 so I'm not sure if that was obviously um, similar to the result I got at home so um, I'm pretty happy with that and that's Dr. Lou's starting figure so yeah I'm happy anyway this is getting long so bye